We are selling empty pockets. Mike, Tiffany, and our dog Penny. We have a 2006 Hunter 38 sailboat, and we have decided that it's finally our turn to untie the lines and go live this dream that everybody else has been talking about. Yes, we are another sailing channel, but I can promise you we are a lot different than everyone else. If you would like to follow along on our journey, please like our videos and subscribe to our channel to keep updated on the latest content. Hi, this is Tiffany with Sailing Empty Pockets, coming to you live with the Starlink unboxing. We recently signed up for Starlink for RVs. I just want to put a quick disclaimer out there. We are not sponsored by anyone uh, for making this video. You are not able to use the Starlink while underway, so you can only use this while docked or at anchor. And um, we have the RV version, so the dish is a little smaller and it gives us portability so you can travel, uh, but you can't use it underway. So today we're going to be unboxing and we'll see what this thing is all about. They call it dishy. Don't know. All right. So the biggest thing I've heard is a lot of people have received returned units. Um, so let's see if our equipment is new. Hopefully we'll, we'll get lucky and it will be. It does not appear to be new. It looks like it was a returned unit. There's some dirt on here. So I doubt this is from the factory. All right, so here we are. We've got our stand. We ordered a pole mount, which will be here tomorrow. So for now, for all intents and purposes, we will be trying it on the stand. And looks like this is the Shee McFlat face. It is a flat, flat dish. It's about, I would say about 10, 12 pounds, roughly, and the dimensions are like a little less than two feet long by about a foot high. It's pretty thin. It is a little awkward though. So let's see. Now attached to this, I guess it just slides right in. I guess it just sits just like that. Um, so attached comes a 75 foot cord. This cord is proprietary to Starlink. I ordered an additional cord. Our intentions would be to take this with us if we ever vacated the boat, for example, during a storm. Purchased a second cord, which is on the way with the pole mount, should be here tomorrow, just in case. You can't just go to a storm by this. It is, it looks like a USB, I'm not even sure. It's proprietary to Starlink. Next, we have the modem. Here, there's a power cord at the bottom of the modem. That's what this is here. So we plug the power cord into the modem, plug this into the outlet, and the other end of the cord for the satellite dish gets plugged into the modem, and that's what powers the dish. So we're going to plug this in. Not liking how these things are fitting doesn't seem very very good connection wise even in the base doesn't really sit flush into the base all right so we're gonna plug our modem in so I plugged in the modem the modem is how the dish gets power there's no additional power cords onto there so that modem's booting up This is the other end of the cord. This gets plugged into the bottom of the modem as well. Again, I don't like these connections. They don't seem like they fit. Okay, now this boots up 
and this has to initialize. So we're gonna set it up actually outside. I just wanted for the purpose of an unboxing to show you what comes in the box, uh, but we're gonna pick this up outside. Okay, so this is the modem and we are connected right now, but there is no indication at this point that it's even on. I'm not sure if these lights are supposed to be lighting up or anything's supposed to be happening, but at the very bottom here, you can see that there's a power light. So that's really the only way you would know, I guess, at this point, unless when it initializes, something happens here. For now, we just set the dish up on the floor deck here. It's doing its thing. It's doing some kind of an update right now. So we're just gonna let it initialize and download whatever firmware it needs and we'll report back in a little while. Okay, so we relocated the dish outside for now. It takes about 20 minutes before it even picks up the internet, and then it takes up to an hour to stabilize, so we'll see. So far, we've been running speed tests just in the first few minutes. There's actually a speed test option built right into the app, and we are getting 235 megabits per second. That is amazing. So just a little backstory here. I don't know if this is gonna work for us. We're gonna try it and see how it goes. So there'll be another video later with a follow-up to this, probably in about a month or so after we've been using it. Um, but we've had trouble with the internet. That's been one of our biggest problems since we traveled down from New Jersey to Florida. Wi-Fi at Marina's is spotty. We've had Verizon, we've had T-Mobile. We actually have AT&T hotspot now and we have the T-Mobile home internet. So the idea of this Starlink is to essentially cut down some of these redundancies. We'll just have Starlink and we'll keep one other option as a redundancy in the event something goes down because you just never know. The Mirai at the marina is just not reliable. So um, Overall, it was a little clunky. Um, I believe our unit was used. It wasn't wrapped in plastic. There was no indication that it was brand new and the dish seemed like it had a little dirt on it. It doesn't appear to be damaged, but it definitely seems like it was returned. Um, the cords themselves are very heavy duty. They have to be pushed in. There's a gasket on the bottom of each cord at the bottom of the router. So you really have to push it and press it in. Um, for a few minutes there, we weren't getting anything and Mike actually looked and I didn't push it in far enough. So now the cords are in, but you just have to make sure that, that they're really in. So we'll see what happens. We'll let you know what the update is. We're gonna let it stabilize and kind of go through its thing and then we'll report back in a little bit. So for now, we have put the dish in a rod holder. We ordered the pole mount kit, so that essentially mounts over whatever pipe you want and it fits the diameter of the pipe. We have had no dropouts. The system has been up for about two hours. It does not appear to be shading our solar panel. So for now, we're gonna leave it here until we get the other mount and we'll see if we can't find a better spot for it, but it seems to be pretty good. It wants to point north. We have not disconnected the motor. I know a lot of people have said that the swaying and rocking of the boat at anchor can cause some dropouts and the motor will continually try to reconnect um, so far, it seems like this is the spot that it likes, and uh, I can't speak to how it might be anchored, but in a slip, it's not so bad. So we will check back and let you know how things are going in a couple hours. All right, so it's been a few hours, and I have to say that it's running pretty good. We're obviously going to test it for more than just today before we make our decision, but so far, so good. Um, the dish has not been moving. It's been in the same spot uh, since we pretty much put it in the rod holder. So it doesn't seem to be pulling a lot of power. We're running on AC right now. So I can't uh, really tell you like how much battery, how many amps or watts it's drawing. 
we'll find out more once we do anchor and run it on the inverter but so far so good a um, couple of things so the uh, design on the actual modem itself does not light up it appears to just be some sort of a picture um, it looks like the couple of planets or something like that so that doesn't light up and the uh, stand there's actually a um, there's a groove and a notch inside the stand here so when you put the unit into the stand you want to make sure that it lines up so initially when I was unboxing it the um, the pole didn't sit right in the stand and I thought it was kind of flimsy but if you actually put it in the right way it does work same thing goes for the wires you just have to make sure you put them in correctly and make sure you push them into the modem um, when our dish was delivered the actual wire from the dish to the modem was installed on the dish side so I don't know I didn't try to screw around with it and unplug it but I've heard that it is pretty difficult to take that plug out so we're just gonna leave that one alone but all in all good experience um, the product seems to be very good and uh, we're very happy so far with our purchase so check back for another video for an update on our Starlink experience aboard empty pockets